Hello and welcome to this Poll Everywhere tutorial brought to you by Broward College's Center for Teaching Excellence and Learning. Uh, this is David C. Pretty, and I'll be taking you through this quick tutorial. Poll Everywhere is essentially a uh, technology that's going to allow students to use their cell phones, tablets, or laptops, basically any mobile device, as an audience response system or a clicker. Uh, clickers have been around and used in the classrooms for well over a decade. Um, they're sometimes called audience response systems or student response systems. And what they enable an instructor to do is, uh, using an IR or RF receiver uh, that's plugged into a classroom computer, uh, the instructor is able to display a question on the screen, usually using uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. The students then use their audience response system uh, by pressing on usually a number or letter corresponding to the answer for the questions that's displayed on the screen. Uh, students register their clickers so that the responses can be recorded, and this is used as either a formative or summative assessment tool in the classroom. Uh, research shows that these are very effective at engaging students and providing instructors feedback in real time about student learning. Of course, those clickers uh, cost um, money of uh, which either the uh, institution or the students have to pay. So a variety of technologies, including Poll Everywhere, have come about uh, that enable uh, students to use their mobile devices as clickers uh, without any added cost. Uh, Poll Everywhere's app is, allows students, or excuse me, instructors, uh, to create those clicker style questions and incorporate them into Microsoft PowerPoint, or Apple Presenter, or even internet browsers. Uh, students can use any mobile device, not even, it doesn't even have to be a smartphone. They can just use a simple cell phone and text in answers. Uh, they can also go onto the Poll Everywhere website with a smartphone or a tablet or a laptop, and they can even tweet answers using their Twitter account if that uh, um, setup is enabled. Uh, in addition to multiple choice questions, um, unlike uh, most clicker softwares, uh, Poll Everywhere also enables uh, users to use uh, clickable images and uh, free response uh, questions. Uh, the Poll Everywhere has an app that can be downloaded um, that enables instructors to incorporate Poll Everywhere questions right into uh, PowerPoint files, um, just like most clicker software. Uh, and clicker devices. This is a uh, quick rundown of what you need to do, but I'll show you um, on Pull Everywhere's website how to do this as well. So here is a uh, question for Pull Everywhere that I've previously incorporated into a PowerPoint slide. Uh, it's a simple multiple choice uh, question, and students can either go to the website pollev.com slash c8cbc, that's my um, user profile for Poll Everywhere, or they can also text the uh, my unique code CHMBC to this number and join. So that's what I'll do with my uh, smartphone or my cell phone. I'm going to text CHMBC to 37607. All right, and after sending it, I get a response that I've joined, and then once I've joined the uh, Poll Everywhere um, text messaging uh, service, uh, I can then uh, just text A in my cell phone, and within a couple of seconds, it will pop up on this PowerPoint slide that I've chosen A. And there it is. We've got the uh, answer selected, and it pops up uh, fairly quickly. Uh, from the screen, you can do a couple of different things. You can show the answers uh, popping up in real time, or you can also hide answers so that um, the students aren't able to view the answers as they come in. Uh, that's usually a good idea because if a lot of students start um, answering or providing the same answer, uh, students who really haven't thought about the problem initially may just pile on and select that answer for no other reason that other students have uh, previously chose that answer. So that's an example of a multiple choice question. Um, you can also incorporate uh, free response questions that may uh, 
suit your assessment needs better. And so this is an example of that. that. What is your favorite ice cream? Ice cream? Um, if my ice cream wasn't one of those four choices, I could, of course, uh, pick that here. So I'll just uh, send in a text message for strawberry. And within a few seconds, it pops up on the screen. And so that way, you can have uh, students uh, send you uh, answers of any variety uh, and display them in real time. The next uh, type of question is a clickable image. And for these types of questions, the students do need to have some device where they can log on to, or not log on, but um, access uh, the website for Poll Everywhere, which is displayed on the screen. So I'll do that on my smartphone. And once I do that, I see the same image, the state, uh, the, you know, the state uh, maps, maps of states um, uh, displayed. And with my finger, I can drop in um, a point to answer the question. I can also clear my response, remove it, and place it somewhere else if I need to. And again, uh, the instructor can hide uh, um, these uh, answers until they're ready to display them. So I use this um, for images of molecules or different figures uh, in the classroom where I'd want students to be able to look at an image or graph or plot or something like that and answer a question appropriately. All right, so those are the main types of questions or types of questions that can be displayed um, from Poll Everywhere. Now I'll just quickly uh, take you through and uh, the process of creating uh, questions and uh, displaying them. So I will switch out to uh, the website, Poll Everywhere. And if you are first, if this is your first time to sign up, you'd sign up here. Uh, you'd create an account, an account where you're presenting and apply the appropriate information here to create your free account. Of course, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. And here you can see all the questions that I've previously created for my courses. Once you create a question, um, you can store them here for as long as you want. You can also, of course, delete them. Uh, you can also see that there's uh, questions that have previously been answered with the number of responses. So I can look back at those questions um, and, uh, to see any information that I may need. To create a new question, you simply click, click the Create um, button. And then you can, of course, choose what type of question you uh, want. Uh, multiple choice or the clickable images, uh, the word cloud, um, open-ended questions or more of the open response for, uh, format. There's also ranking style questions that you can also ask. But once you decide on what type of question you want to ask, you can simply start asking the question. Uh, you can also, you, if the multiple choice question is an actual answer, whether it be word or uh, letters or numbers, uh, you can simply type them in. Or you can also um, add uh, images as possible answers um, that may or may not be um, suitable for the question you're asking. So once I create a question, it simply saves it to my account. Uh, if you don't want to display them uh, in a PowerPoint slide, you can simply uh, log on to your account at polleverywhere.com and display them from any web browser. And so this works just as well as me incorporating it into a PowerPoint slide. But if you do want to incorporate the Poll Everywhere questions um, into PowerPoint, you can simply just go to the website or Google for the PowerPoint app um, so that you can uh, download it and install it onto your machine. Of course, if it's a Broward College uh, PC, you'll just have to uh, submit a help desk ticket for um, IT to download it and install it onto your um, uh, PC or Mac or uh, your classroom computer as well. So that's how you would do that. Of course, I've already got it incorporated into my uh, PowerPoint. So when I want to add another question, 
I can just go over to here, the Pull Everywhere um, tab in PowerPoint that uh, will pop up once it's installed. And I can insert that question that I just created. Um, Uh, on the website. So, just what's one plus two, and then I insert it. Uh, when you're looking at it in sort of the outline view, you don't see the question. But once you um, go to presenter mode, the uh, slides will automatically pop up uh, fairly quickly uh, with the possible responses. So that is a quick tutorial on the use of Poll Everywhere. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email me uh, at the following email address.